Is this your vehicle? No. No? You know whose it is? Two forty. Did you see what the uh, driver was wearing? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got a white female out here on the porch wearing a white hoodie. The officer returned to his patrol car and entered the vehicle information of the Honda into his computer. Approximately three minutes later, he spoke again with Ms. Leonard, who remained on the front porch of the home. As Officer Shelton arrived to the address, he observed Ms. Leonard remove a handgun from her purse and put it in her waistband. He disengaged from the conversation and briefed Officer Sheets, who had just arrived on scene. Do you stay here? Yeah. You don't know anything about this vehicle right here? No, I don't. It's like uh, that van that's been parked here for about like two or three months. Uh, that brown car has been parked here for about six months, and then there's another one, a little old school. It's been out here for about a year. Okay. All right. You don't know when this one pulled up or anything? I've been seeing it here. I've been living here off and off for about four or five years. I've been seeing it for about two years off and on. I ride the bus. Okay. Okay, fair enough. All right, appreciate it. Are you looking for somebody, or what's up? What's well, just this vehicle's up to some nonsense. Oh, you okay? So... Yeah, uh, we're trying to figure that out. Okay, thank you. Huh? This red one? This girl up here on the white porch, she's got a gun in her waistband. So just a heads up. Um, it matches what 240 said about being on white female. I think he said something about a white hoodie too. I'm not going to push the issue unless he wants to. Yeah. Officers Shelton and Sheets were joined by Officer Reynolds. A tow truck was called to remove the Honda. The three officers remained on scene, standing across the street from the home. The officers did not approach Miss Leonard. At this point, they did not have a positive identification linking her to the Honda that fled from the officer earlier in the day. They made contact with Officer Smith, who was at the traffic stop incident, and said he could identify the driver. Officer Smith was en route to the Eugene Street location. He's gonna, he's coming down here from 56 to 465 to try to ID her. I was like, can you ID her? He's like, oh yeah. I was like, okay, you wanna like come ID her? So, what? It's a level six felony resist, why not? <laughs> he's like, well, can we do that? I think we can do that. Yeah. Officer Smith arrived on scene and approached the front porch of the home in an attempt to determine if Miss Leonard was the driver he witnessed in the earlier traffic stop incident. Officer Smith was joined by Officers Shelton, Sheets, and Reynolds. As the officers approached Miss Leonard, she told them not to get any closer. Then, she reached for a handgun and officers warned her to stop. She pointed the handgun at the officers and four officers discharged their service weapons. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I need to talk to you, okay? Hey, don't you dare fucking touch it! Don't touch it! Control Frank 240 police action shooting. Son of a bitch. Life saving. Stay my lethal in case. 
following is body-worn camera video from officers Shelton and Reynolds. From both angles, Ms. Leonard can be seen reaching into her waistband, drawing a handgun, and pointing it at officers. The following is a portion of the previous video that has been slowed, magnified, and highlighted. Officers immediately began life-saving measures, including CPR. Despite those efforts, paramedics arrived on scene and declared Ms. Leonard deceased. 